Alright folks, so it's week 4 of Season of the Chosen for Seasonal Challenges. Let's get into it. For number 1, we've got Contender's Ascent 4. Report to the War Table in the Helm and complete the Challenger's Proving 4 quest. Then defeat Cabal using Sniper Rifles. So just complete the Seasonal quest and then get 50 Cabal kills with Snipers. You get the Far Future as a reward and War Table rep as usual. At number 2, we got Golden Reaper. Acquire Cabal Gold by playing Strikes, Gambit, Crucible, Public Events, and more. You need 400 gold. And as usual, this is something that can carry over from previous weeks, so you may already have it done like I did. And number three, we have Intruder Alert. Don't allow opponents to interrupt Ghost and Battlegrounds mission. You have to stop two interruptions. So basically for this, you just sit by your Ghost and defend it. And number four, we've got Explosive Entrance. Defeat champions and get grenade takedowns in Battlegrounds. You need 10 champions killed and 45 grenade kills in Battlegrounds with grenades. For Warlocks, I would use Top Tree Nova Bomb with Controverse Hold. For Titans, I would use Top Tree Arc because you get double grenades. And then for Hunters, I would get Bottom Tree Void because your Smoke Bomb can refund your grenade energy. And since Battlegrounds are match made, you'll always have those teammates to allow you to do that. At number 5, we've got Contenders Delve. Complete a Lost Sector on Legend or Higher. So these are just those ones that you're going to see on the Moon, Europa, or the Cosmodrome where they have the little waypoint that they're in activity. These are the ones that people farm the exotic. If you have trouble with the solo, this doesn't actually say you have to do a solo, so you could actually do this with some other people if you really felt like you needed to. While we're here, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button. At number six, we've got Challenger Cypher, decrypt five prime engrams. This one does not carry over from previous weeks, so just going forward, when you get your prime engrams, after five, you're going to get this challenge complete for some easy XP and bright dust. At number seven, we've got Sling the Stone. Stagger, pierce, or disrupt champions. You have to do this to 30 champions. Now, from the description right here, it would appear to me that you would be able to farm the champions. So, an easy way of doing this, whether or not you can farm it or not, the easiest way I would recommend is just going into a legend or master lost sector because you'll be able to farm for exotics in the background while you're doing this. So this is just sort of a passive PvE thing that you'll get done by either doing the Nightfalls or the Legend and Master Lost Sectors. At number 8, we've got High Value Hunter. Defeat powerful combatants in Gambit. Earn bonus progress for defeating high value targets. Again, like I said in my previous video, I'm just going to wait until Gambit has accumulated all these challenges for myself, and I'm going to do it near the end of the season so that I can get it all popping all at once. At number 9, we've got Cadre of Contenders. Complete Crucible matches in the competitive playlist. This is a nice Crucible one because it's not dependent on the rotating game mode. So this one you can do forever going forward until the end of the season. And for our 10th and final challenge this week, we got Vanguard Chosen. Complete any Nightfall, the Ordeal Strike on Hero Difficulty or higher. You have to do it three times, and that's basically it. Well, that wraps it up for Season of the Chosen Week 4 challenges. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, a thumbs up is appreciated. If you want to see future content that I put out, hitting the subscribe button with the bell notification turned on to be notified of future videos I put out would mean a lot to me. And thanks for watching and have a good day.